Hey guys, I've been very busy this year and I haven't posted many videos, but today I am starting another machine build series. I have been researching and designing a benchtop injection molder machine to reproduce some parts I currently machine. It has always been my philosophy that designing and building a machine myself will give me a better understanding of how the machine works and the processes involved. The knowledge gained and the money saved doing it myself has always benefited me. So if you're in the market for a benchtop injection molder machine, please like and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos in this series. I started researching benchtop injection molder machines to see what was available in terms of plug and play machines. On eBay, they range in price from $250 for a manual machine to over $3,000 for pneumatic machines. Do-it-yourself kits are also available. A popular one is the MK3 from Buster Beagle. The cost for this do-it-yourself kit is around $750. Do-it-yourself kits are a great option to save money and also gain knowledge about how the machine's assembled and operates without the hassle of sourcing all the parts. I wanted to have something that was a little bit different than what I saw offered in plug-and-play or do-it-yourself kits. I was introduced to a gentleman, Charlie, who was looking for a Mach 3 screen setup for his machine build to produce molds. I want to give a shout out to Charlie at IC Customs USA on YouTube for his help with this project. He shared his design and also shared a wealth of knowledge. I will post a link to his channel in the video description. Stop by and check out his channel. He does some unique custom motorcycle transformations and I later found out he has a whole lot of hobbies. He's a great guy so stop by and check it out. Now let's take a look at the design concept. I'm not sure how long this build will take or how many videos will be in the series. Those of you who have seen some of my other series know that they can be long and detailed. Post a comment and let me know any specific things you're interested in on this build and I will try to work it in. Now let's go over some of the components of the injection motor machine starting with the base. The base is a piece of 1 inch thick Mike 6 8 inches by 13 inches. On the bottom there are three counter six holes for M10 by 45 bolts to mount the vise backstop which is recessed into the base. A quarter inch spacer was added under the push pull toggle clamp to get the clamping force in line with the center. There are four threaded holes to mount the three quarter by ten threaded rods which will serve as our main vertical structure. The main chamber consists of a 1 inch stainless steel tube heated by dual 110 volt 190 watt heater cartridges housed in a 2 and a quarter inch diameter 6061 aluminum body. A 1 inch 120 volt 100 watt band heater close to the nozzle gives a more precise temperature at the nozzle. To finish the main chamber off, at the top we have an aluminum funnel and the whole assembly is connected to an X plate floating under a half inch 8 by 8 center plate with four compression springs. At the top we have our 1 inch top plate, a 3D printed dual PID controller enclosure, an air pressure regulator, a 100 by 200 millimeter single stage 8 inch stroke air cylinder which connects to a 3 quarter inch stainless steel ram actuated by a control valve. Pellets are fed to the main chamber through a 3 quarter inch copper feed tube. Pellets are metered with this 3D printed metering valve housed in a PVC 4 way connector. To finish off the build and supply the pellets to the metering valve I 3D printed an adapter for a hopper made using a 2 liter bottle. And this completes the overview of the injection molding machine featuring a dual zone heating chamber which will give better temperature control, a quick release clamping system along with precise material metering. Guys, Please feel free to make comments, ask questions, or offer advice as this whole manufacturing process is new to me and has already been a steep learning curve and will continue for some time. 
If you're interested in following along and have not already done so, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. That way when I post a new video, you will be notified and you can stop by and check it out. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video and most importantly, be safe. Thank you.